I'm Mike, I'm from Powderly, Kentucky. We're sitting on my property. I am as country as country can be and proud of it, I guess. I've lived here for about 50 years. I took a job several years back to tear a house down and uh, my mother's uncle told me that uh, it was a log cabin. Of course, it was covered in siding and uh, you couldn't tell it was a log cabin. As I was tearing it down, I realized he was right. And uh, we disassembled it and brought it up here, put it back together. And uh, the work that went into it, I wouldn't do it again for love nor running. But everybody else seems to really enjoy it. <laughs> when coal mining went out around here, the economy went from uh, people buying new homes and new cars to uh, losing the new homes and new cars. And it's been uh, pretty much poverty stricken ever since. What it was like being arrested and going to jail. Humiliating. Mm. I turned the wrong way down a one-way street. Mm. Before I knew it, literally, there was three or four cop cars and a slam down on the ground. Mistreated, I felt like, but I guess they probably have to be for their own safety. I'm sure that was part of it. Just humiliated in front of everybody, vehicle towed off and ripped apart. I knew I wasn't DUI. And looking back, the lady kept telling me that if you'll pay for it, you can go to the uh, hospital and get a blood test or whatever. Because looking back, I know that she was trying to direct me in the right direction. If I'd done that, I would have never What was my experience like working with the Bell Project? I was surprised to even know one existed. And I'd been there, I don't know, 10 or 11 days. And after calling the Bell Project, the next day, my bond was posted. I thought, this is uh, unbelievable. I was wondering how in the world I was going to come up with $6,000. Most people, especially the people that uh, I'm familiar with. For instance, 10,000 cash. It could be a million. It wouldn't make no difference. If you hadn't got it, you hadn't got it. Guilty, innocent, it don't matter. You'll sit there and uh, wonder, uh, <laughs> wonder how can they call it a commonwealth when ain't nothing common about it. We kind of laugh around here about having a bail bondsman to get you out. You're not getting out around here until either a friend, your family, or someone puts up the bail bond. Uh, and it's always so ridiculously high that you're going to stay in jail until they decide otherwise. And that is just about the way it is. What am I hopeful for in the future? I hope y'all get what y'all are shooting for. Mm. Well, that's a good question. So many things, really. Prioritize. I hope my son and my grandson have a good life. Hope they get what they want. Mm. That set aside, I just hope they're happier regardless of what they want. One of these days, Ryder will be sitting right here, I'm sure. I hope. 